Hey, welcome back everybody. In the past few videos, we've been working on this e-commerce app. Actually, all of it, we've been working on this e-commerce app in this series. Past couple of videos, we kind of got the navigation drawer working. So look, we can actually slide out from the left and we can select shorts, we can select jeans, we can select home. And in the last video, we output some of that stuff to the log cat here. And so see, we see jeans was pressed going home. And that kind of aligns with the mess with the messages in main activity. We have Daniel, we're just kind of putting, we're putting this stuff all in the log cat down there. So just log cat. But let's actually make it do something. So if we go back to the emulator, you can see when I select, so I'm on home right now. And when I select jeans, it doesn't change the UI at all. But when people select the jeans, we wanna show them the jeans. Or if they select socks or shorts or whatever, we wanna update all of this screen to display just what they want. So we can do this, we can fix this using fragments. Fragments are a good way to update part of the screen. And in this case, it'll probably work out pretty well. There are other ways of doing it and we could use activities, but I think fragments will be nice for this. So first of all, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just to start off clean. I'm gonna right click and go close all and I'm gonna close everything there. Then I'm gonna open up app. I'm, and again, I'm in Android mode. So I'm gonna open up app and then Java and then the first one here. Actually, no, let's go to resources, layouts, uh, let's go to content main and I think this is our list here so this is kind of the grid that you see uh, I think it's that grid right there right yeah I'm pretty sure it is it's a recycler view so let's go here to to add a fragment when we so when we open up those sh when we click jeans we want to sh update the UI and so let's just so we can do that using a frame layout so you can see right now in design, and you can switch between text and design mode, but in design mode, this recycler view takes up all of the screen. That's kind of what we want our fragment to do. So before we get ahead of ourselves, I'll just kind of show you what it is. So I'm gonna to go to text mode, and I'm gonna to go to the end of this line and do, we'll do frame layout, and then we'll give it a width of 100 dp. Then we'll give it a height of 100 dp. Uh, then we can actually go ahead and get rid of the rest of the line there and then we'll do we'll do it like that so it's a self-closing tag uh, in xml and here's our frame layout and you can see if when when you put our mouse inside of the frame layout it kind of shows the box there but i want to make that really clear so i'm going to put a background color and this is a tip that i use a lot uh, so background and we'll do let's just do um uh, dun, 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 dun. Or if you want, you can just put in six numbers there. Or what I like is you can use the tool picker. Uh, and a neat little trick, you can actually select the tool picker there and go to a web view. So say you go to a website, you like it. Oh, I like that red right there. Let's see. Uh, actually, the, I think this is working. You can go to any. So say we like that red. We can select. Oh, it doesn't work. But anyway, that's a cool trip tr uh, trick for getting the color from different uh Web. Anyway, forget that. So let's go to, let's, go, let's make it blue. So there we see, there's our fragment. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do 200 there. And I'm gonna do 200 there, make it a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, re oh, we need to give this an ID. So let's, this will be this will be very important. So ID, let's do ID equals, and we'll just name this frame layout. So we can reference, we can give it an ID here and that frame layout, we can go to main activity and we can do something like this. So right, I'll do it right after the set support toolbar, but we'll do this. We'll do, um, we'll do, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, so we can access the ID there. So frame layout, so frame layout dot, then we have access to it, but let's not do that right now. What I wanna go ahead and do is make it, make it so every time you click on, uh, so we're getting this navigation view and the navigation view is actually this right there. So whenever it's saying, whenever we click, whenever we, so get that navigation view and get, listen for any presses on that. Like when someone selects an item, so selects an item, we wanna get that ID of what number they, they select. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six things people could click on. So we wanna know which one it is. So we have one, two, three there. And what I'm gonna do is, well, let's just go ahead and get jeans ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to, oh, I, I'm trying to think what to do. Uh, we'll just do jeans. So I'm gonna put a curly brace there and we can actually copy that. Uh, let's copy all of that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna paste it in there and get rid of some of these lines that we don't need. Oops. Okay, cool. So every time, and this should be familiar from the last video. So 
sorry, I had to get a sip of water. So this is all kind of from the last video, and we, we kind of made it similar, but um, okay. So we have actions, genes. Let's go ahead and do something. Let's go inside of cat. Let's go inside of action genes. Let's do this. Let's do. Oh, we need a layout first. Yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and create our layout first, actually. So go to the resources layouts, and we'll do. And you can actually right click and go to new. And then you can select a layout file. But what I like to do is put my, put my mouse over it and do Command N on Mac, and then start typing layout, and then just hit Enter. And it's a fast way to open it up. So we'll call this Fragment Genes. So here we go. And and you can do this all with. You can drag in a text view if you want and do it that way. I always like to go into text mode because I just like the, the control it gives you. So I'm, so either way, whatever way you want to do it is fine. Um, if you need help, leave comments. I'll try to make an, try to make another video if this is too confusing. Let's see. Text view, I'll do wrap, wrap, and we'll come over here and we'll do text and we'll do um, buy jeans today. So that's gonna be our jeans. And let's go ahead and let's make this really big. Let's do text size, we'll do 32 SP. So it's just nice and big. So obviously your designers wouldn't want you to do this, but let's go text color, we'll do, actually, let's make it a little bit lighter. Let's, let's do that. Let's just go up to there. Okay, cool. So we have by jeans today. And we wanna load it, so we wanna load it inside of, we don't have it there yet. We wanna load it inside of, inside of that frag, the blue fragment right there, that one right there. So how can we do that? So we have our fragment gene set up, okay, cool. So now let's go back to here. Oh, there's one more thing we need to do. Let's go back to our, uh, our job, our Kotlin, and let's do this. Let's do a new, and we'll go ahead and do, we'll do Kotlin class file. We'll type out fragment, uh, let's call this genes fragment, uh, tab, press the C letter, enter, that creates a tab. Uh, so let's do this, let's do, and then it extends fragment. And let's go ahead and select, there are two fragments there. Let's select the support.v4.app one. So go ahead and do that, and it's given a complaint. You can actually, if you want, option enter over there, and it should do it for you. Or you can just come over here and add those because it needs those. Okay, cool. So we have all of that. Um, so this class, this genes fragment right there, we need it because we have to link it to this by genes today, and it's going to go inside of here. So this might be a little bit confusing, but hopefully by the end of this, you'll have at least a better... Uh, you'll know more about this. So I'm going to do put my mouse inside of there, do control enter, type override, enter, uh, then we can type, uh, I think it's like on create view, enter, and that's a fast way to add methods. Or there's another way, you could, what you could do is just, you can just come here and do on cre create view and enter, and that's the same thing I think. I just like to do it faster. A cool little trick, trick is, uh, control enter override enter and then you can just start typing something like uh, set a exit trend you can just start typing and it'll go right to it so if it's at the bottom here so say get life cycle we can just start get life cycle and it, anyway that's a cool little trick okay forget that uh, let's go ahead and clear some of this space up because we don't need that we don't need that so let's do this let's do uh, what can we do? Let's do return in, inflator. So we have inflator from up here, I think. So it's inflator dot inflate, and then we need a resource. What is this going to be? This is going to be our con. It's going to be our uh, fragment genes. So we want this. This is all related to genes. This genes fragment and this genes fragment they go together. This is the layout file, the UI. And this is what makes it work. So this may be a little bit confusing, but hopefully by the end of this you'll have you'll know more. So r dot layout dot fragment genes. And then we pass in container. And then I think false. Um, this should work. Okay, cool. So we have our genes fragment, but you can see it's not. It's if you put your mouse over it, it says it's never used. So we're going to change that. Let's go into main activity and to get a fragment uh, and to get a fragment to. Uh, to display inside of inside of that blue box there. What we need to do is we need to write about, I don't know, a few lines of code. So we already kind of went over, you know, we have when the ID equals genes, then do all of that. 
So let's let's do some let's put it inside of here because yeah, we want this we only want this genes fragment to show up when we when we select when we select genes there. Okay. So we want that. So we know, hey, action genes. And by the way, I think I covered this in a previous video, but it's in menu, main menu, and the ID is genes there. So we can go ahead and close that. I'm gonna shift click on the tab and that closes that. Okay, so let's go back up to here and let's do this. Let's do, actually that's not what I want. So let's do this, let's do support fragment manager dot begin transaction. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on a new, let's just do it here for now. Let's do, uh, what is it, dot replace. And then we need an ID. So this is going to say, hey, what do you want to load? And this is a little bit confusing because there's two different things it could be. But this needs to be the frame. No, wait, wait, is this? Yeah, this is the frame layout. So if you remember, go back to content main, we have a frame layout here and we give it an ID of frame layout like that. So we can do this, let's do frame layout and it automatically completes for us. Then we need to pass in a fragment. So what is a fragment? That's this genes fragment right here that we just created. And also another little trick is if you can, you can just select anything. So say I click on something way down there and I'm working in this genes fragment file and I want to know where it is over here. I can just press the button right there and boom, it highlights it for you right there. So this can all be closed and I can be inside genes fragment and I want to know, hey, where is it in, where is it inside? Is it inside of resources? Is it in manifest? Is it inside of here? Well, if you just, I have this file open and hit the find a scroll, whatever that is, it opens it up right for you. So there it is. Okay. Cool little trip there. Trick there. So we have genes fragments. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this, we'll put in genes fragments. So genes fragments. So what is this? Oh, that's right. So we need, it needs to be uh, r.id.frame layout, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now it's giving us an error. It's saying we don't, we haven't done commit yet. And that's true, we haven't. So let's go to the end of the line and do dot commit. So we always need to do that. And this line is getting a little bit long, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the next line there. Put it on the next line there. So I think this might work. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. You can either press the button there, or by now you can do the keyboard shortcut. On Mac, it's Control R. I don't know what it is on Windows. But or you can just hit the button right there. And I think this might actually work. So let's just see. It's gonna be a little bit ugly because I just put in a random blue box. So there it is, it's blue box. Let's go ahead and slide out and let's go to jeans. Now it says buy jeans today. So that's really cool. So one of the things we can do is we can say, hey, once we go to, uh, once we wanna go to, say we wanna go to socks. Um, we can say, hey, buy socks today. What color do you want? Do you want black, gray, white? Do you want running socks? Uh, we can even do like shorts. What kind of shorts do you want? Do you want, uh, you know, whatever. So th this, this is the beginning of it. Now you notice that it's only, it looks really weird because it's only part of the screen. What we can do is we can do this. We can go back into content main, and our frame layout. Let's give it the width. Uh, let's do um, zero DP. Wait, yeah, do we want that? Yeah, yeah, zero DP. And let's do this. Let's do left, left, parent, right, right, parent. And you notice I'm just typing a little bit part of it. Like I'm just typing left, left, right, right. So let's say we want to do just for a little trip. Instead of typing out the whole thing, so instead of typing out app, layout, cons constraint, we can just say we want to use top to bottom of. So we can just go back and do top, bottom, just type a few of the words and hit enter and boom, there you are. That's a cool little trick. So hopefully you learned something there. So there we go. So now we have left to left of, right to right of, and let's just do top, top, parent. So it takes up, let's give it a height of 300. So let's do this, uh, 300. So now it's a lot bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it and you can just run it with the keyboard shortcut or not. And let's see what this does. So now, now it now it takes up more space, which is kind of what we want, but it's not all the way there. Like that looks really weird. 
doesn't really work, look quite right. But the important thing is, if you select genes here, now it says, hey, buy genes. And so say we want to go back to this fragment genes, and again, it's right over here. It's in resources, layouts, genes. We can do something below here. We can say, hey, uh, buy genes. Let's do, um, let's do a button. Let's do a wrap, wrap. That button's going to go there. And we'll do text. We'll do um, uh, free shipping button. Oops. So free shipping. This looks a little bit funny. Let's give this an ID. Let's do this. Let's do uh, um, ID title. So we'll call it title. And let's put this one top to bottom of title. And there we go. Uh, this might may look messed up a little bit, but I'll go ahead and run it and go back to the emulator. And let's see what's going on. So we have here, let's open up that, go to jeans, and now it says, hey, buy jeans today. So it's just a matter right now of going inside of content main, or not of content main and fragment jeans, and just adding all of your UI. You can go into design, you can add in images for your products. Maybe it's a little banner that says, you know, you buy free jeans today or whatever. So maybe it's something kind of like that. Um, let's try to think of what else we can do. Oh, well, let's do one thing. Let's get rid of this. See how it's all blue there? Let's make it. Let's make it gray. So let's do um, e, just a random color. I know, or we can just select a random color. Let's make it a little bit darker, just so I know something's there. I'm gonna go ahead and run it one last time, and then we'll be done with the video. Let's see. So there it is. It's gray. So it's a little bit confusing because this is kind of there and it's not really supposed to be there. But the important thing is once you select jeans. There, now it has your jeans layout. So say you want to continue on for the rest of it. So we have action jeans, do all of that. We could do the same thing with shorts. So with shorts, put our curly braces there. And we can say, hey, inside of shorts, all we need to do is create a new fragment jeans. Uh, what we could call it like fragment shorts. Uh, then make a new fragment here called fragment just just, yeah, inside of here, go to new, and then create a new Kotlin file. But create a new uh, shorts fragment, and then it's a little bit complicated, but hopefully you learn something, and I'll see you in the next video.